Hi, welcome. I'm Jackie Maru, and this is a yin yoga for sleep class for caregivers, just to help you get settled and centered so that you can have a good night's rest. You can also use this class throughout the day for stress relief. For today, position yourself near a wall because we will practice legs up the wall pose and also grab a couple couch or bed pillows and a folded blanket or a folded bath towel will do. And if you don't have any of these props, no problem. You can still practice class without, but it's nice to have them handy just for added comfort. We'll begin in seated butterfly. So if you'd like, you can sit on a folded blanket or your folded towel and bring the bottoms of your feet together. Let your knees just fall out wide. Now you can bring your feet close to your body or you can make a bit more of a diamond shape. Do what feels best for your body. So lengthen up here and then fold over your legs. Now you get to play with your props to find comfort. So what you can do is take a pillow or two and lean over it and you can bow your head down on the pillow or just rest your arms there. You could build as tall of a tower as you'd like. You can also, if needed, place a prop underneath your knee and then one on the other side. Play around with your props until you find a place that feels just right for you. In Yin, we call it the Goldilocks place. So not too much sensation, not too little is what we're going for. But a place where you just feel good. And begin just to disengage your muscles. And do your best to disengage your mind as well. Just begin to let your body melt. to settle into the posture. And it's okay if you have to move around a little or if you have to exit early or if you feel you need to adjust any of your props throughout class. And just try to be as present as you can And just start to follow your breath in and out. Let each inhale be deep. And each exhale be long. And just notice what you feel as you hold. Notice the sensations in your body. And we'll stay here for several minutes just holding. Just let yourself find rest.
Gather a deep breath in. And then a long breath out. And then slowly rise up. You can move any props aside and straighten your legs out in front of you. You can take your hands behind you, lean back slightly, lift your chest. And we'll take a couple deep breaths here. Breathe in. And then a long exhale out. And we'll move now to the wall for legs up the wall. So you can use a blanket or not, whatever your preference is. You can try both, see what feels better for you. If you are going to use a blanket, place the blanket right up against the wall. And then what you'll do is sit on your blanket and next to a wall. And then you lean back into your hands as you lie on your back and swing your legs up the wall, one at a time or both. And then rest your feet against the wall. And you can adjust how far away or how close you want to be from the wall. Your arms can be by your sides or really wherever is comfortable. And disengage your muscles completely. You can let your toes just fall out. Begin to just relax your body completely. This posture can really help slow you down and get you grounded. And we'll use our breath to get us grounded and centered as well. So take deep breath in. And then exhale completely. It's on the long exhale that you can really begin to switch up or turn up the dial on your more calming side of the nervous system. So focus on the long exhales. And just let your day go. And give yourself this moment, this space, this time that is only for you. And we'll stay here in this posture for just a few minutes. If you feel any unpleasant sensations or you need to exit for a little bit, feel free to do so. And then just join in again.
Gather a deep breath in. And then let out a long exhale. And then bend your knees. And you can draw them towards your chest and roll to one side. And you can very gently just use your hands to press yourself up. Move any props aside. And you can lay down on your mat, on your back, and grab a hold of one or two of your pillows for a gentle spine twist. So once on your back, you can straighten your left leg and gently draw your right knee into your chest, and then guide your right knee across your body. It can come to the floor, or it can come to a pillow, whatever feels better for you. And remember, in yin, we're going for that Goldilocks place. So not too much sensation, not too little. What's just right? What feels good? Reach your right arm to the right, and you can bend your arm like a goalpost or cactus. Try to disengage. Try to let go completely. So yang is the more active side. Yin is more about being. So it's less about doing, more about being. See if you can just melt and be and receive here. Just receive from the posture. We'll just be here for one minute. Slowly return back to your center and extend your leg out in front. So both legs out in front. We'll just take a pause here in between sides. Just to rest and feel. Other side, bend your left knee up. You can take your pillow if you use it on the other side and bring it on the opposite side. Draw your knee into your chest and then take it again across your body towards the right. Reach the left arm out to the left and you can bend your arm like a goalpost or cactus. Find the place that's just right for you and your body in this moment, one that you can really melt into. Let your muscles go, let go of contraction. Melt into the floor. Come out of doing, come into being. You've been doing all day. This is your time now to recharge.
and then slowly release. Extend both legs out in front of you. And you can move any props aside. And if you want, you can cover yourself up with your blanket if you're chilly. We're just going to take a short Shavasana here so that you don't fall asleep where you are. So widen your legs as wide as you want them and widen your arms as well. Close your eyes. Just feel your breath move in and out. Relax the muscles in your forehead and all the way down into your hands, your legs, your feet. Just let the floor support you and hold you up. Feel your belly rise and fall with each breath. We'll take just a minute here of rest and quiet in Shavasana. And you can stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. Or if it's bedtime, you can slowly roll onto one side. Press yourself up and then make your way over to your bed in your own time. And whatever you choose, I wish you a good evening and a good night's rest. Thank you so much for joining.